Shalom, Freedom Online, and this week we have a story about Jesus being tempted and also an armadillo. Yes, Skyler wants to talk to us about the armadillo. Let's watch it together. Hi there, it's me, Skyler. Today we are looking at a special animal, the armadillo. There are more than 20 species of armadillos that come in a variety of sizes and colors. Out of the different types, only one species, the nine-branded armadillo, lives in North America. The other types live in South America. Living in temperate and warm habitats, armadillos can be found in rainforests, grasslands, and semi-deserts. Even if they have poor eyesight, they are great hunters because of their keen sense of smell. Armadillos are insectivores, meaning they generally hunt for invertebrates, such as insects, but their diet includes fruits and eggs. To catch their prey, they use their sticky tongues, similar to anteaters. These odd-looking creatures also have a long pointy snout and an armor that covers its back, head, legs, and tail. The armor is formed by overlapping plates that are made out of solid bone, coming from their vertebrae. Interestingly, the pattern on the head plate of each armadillo is unique to each individual. They are the only living mammals that have that kind of shell. The shell influenced their name, for armadillo is a Spanish word meaning little armored one. The shell is used as protection against their many predators like coyotes, lynx, wolves, raccoons, pumas, bears, and some birds of prey. Unlike popular belief, not all armadillos protect themselves by rolling up in their shells. The majority dig a hole quickly and enter so that their stomach, which is tender, is protected. And their armor is the only thing visible. The armadillo uses its armor as protection against its enemies. Have you ever wanted to tell a lie? Have you ever wanted something at the store that you could not have? Did you ever want to disobey your parents? Temptation is when you want to do something that is not right. The Bible says, Keep watch and pray so that you will not give in to temptation. For the spirit is willing, but the body is weak. This means that it is important to say no when you are tempted. To do so, you can read your Bible, obey what it says, and you can pray. So just like the armadillo's armor protects them against predators, you can protect yourself by resisting temptation and, when it's hard, God helps you resist temptation. Well, 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 the armadillo can protect himself as we can protect ourselves. As the Bible verse says, keep watch and pray so that you will not give in to temptation. Well, you can protect yourself when you sometimes you feel like not obeying your parents or lying or yet yeah, taking things that don't belong to you. Well, you can remember what the Bible says. And when we remember, we obey. That's how we can resist. Are you, are you ready for the Bible story? It's about Jesus, yes, and the enemy that tempted him in a desert. Let's watch it together. Let's take a look at a true story of how Jesus had to pass a test. Yes, it's in the Bible, and it goes like this. Then Jesus, full of the Holy Spirit, returned from the Jordan River. He was led by the Spirit in the wilderness. He was in the wilderness for 40 days and was tempted by the enemy. Jesus ate nothing at all that time and became very hungry. Then the enemy said to him, If you are the Son of God, tell this stone to become a loaf of bread. Jesus replied by quoting from the scriptures and a verse found in Deuteronomy 8.3. It is written, Man does not live on bread alone, but on every word that comes from the mouth of God. Then the enemy took Jesus to Jerusalem and had him stand on the highest point of the temple. If you are the Son of God, he said, throw yourself down. Then the enemy twisted a scripture in Psalms 91 to tempt Jesus. Doesn't it promise in the Bible, for he will tell his angels to care for you 
and keep you in all your ways. They will hold you up in their hands, so your foot will not hit against a stone. Jesus answered him by quoting from Deuteronomy 6.16. It is also written, Do not test the Lord your God. The enemy took Jesus to a very high mountain. He showed Jesus all the kingdoms of the world and their splendor. All this I will give you, he said, if you will bow down and worship me. Away from me, Satan, was Jesus' instant reply. Then he quoted from Deuteronomy 6.13, For it is written, Worship the Lord your God and serve him only. Jesus demonstrated the power of God's word in defeating the sneaky temptations of the enemy. Then the enemy left Jesus, waiting for another chance to test him again. Angels came and attended Jesus. Jesus then returned to Galilee in the power of the Holy Spirit. It is not always easy to resist temptations, but when we read God's word and obey, we can do it. You can read the original story in your Bible in the books of Matthew and Luke. Bye-bye. Wow, the enemy had, had come to tempt Jesus, but Jesus knew the word of God in his heart and he answered. And when he answered, the enemy did not win. We too can do the same thing. We watch and pray so that we will not give in to temptation. Exactly what it says is Matthew 26, 41. Yes, are you ready for the mission of the week? We're going to be able to say no to temptations. Let's watch it together. Now here is your mission. With your parents, you're going to open your Bible and choose one verse that you are going to learn by heart. Or if you're older, it could be a whole chapter like Psalm 23. And you learn it. And remember, we pray, we ask God to help us learn the verse or the chapter and after every morning you go see your parents and you tell them the verse or the chapter as you go along so have a great mission well that is an easy one with your parents you open your bible you choose a verse it could be Psalm 23, 1, it could be John 3, 16, whatever you decide. And yes, you learn the verse. And if you want to go a little bit further, learn a chapter. You know, you can learn Psalm 23 by heart. And together, you learn to put God's word in your heart. And you too will be able to watch and pray and resist temptations. Why? Because when the enemy comes and says, don't obey your parents, you're able to say, no, the Bible says, obey your parents, for that is good. Oh, I want to celebrate and just say thank you for God's word. How about you? Let's do it together. So this is Fidu Online saying shalom. Your own word.